Alrighty, so this is this We The People News. Kadoki. Mm so this is round one between, well, here's the deal, and Diesel. Alright, uh, so uh, we played uh, here's the deal. Now this is Diesel's uh, for We The People's. This is Diesel for We The People News. So I'm not an attorney, don't claim to be an attorney, don't want to be an attorney. Uh, this is just a learning video that we could or could not use depending on the circumstances at hand. But this is an outlook to what we can and cannot do and how far do we want to push it. Alright, any legal advice is not from me. This is just a teaching lesson to, uh, show what's going on in the wide, wide world of the United States. Alright. Let's take, check this video out. And I'm going to stop and go through this. Good morning, sir. And with the Texas Highway Patrol, I'm like, there's something that you can speak with some time to the speed limit back there. Let's see your license and insurance, please. Uh, so you're saying I violated some sort of transportation code? Yes, sir. Speedy. Okay. Uh, I need to see your driver's license and your insurance, please. Let me get home. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm letting you know that I, I'm not here in a commercial capacity. Okay. Uh, I'm not carrying people for a fee. Mm -hmm. And I'm not uh, carrying any cargo for a fee. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just traveling. Right. So those laws are actually for commercial reasons, not for personal reasons, not for... Okay. Sir, I, I, I see, see your driver's license and proof of insurance for the vehicle, okay? Okay. I, I don't... There's not a crime that's been committed, so... Yes, sir. The uh, speed here is 65, and you're right, over, confirmed over the speed limit. Okay. You're okay. traveling on public roadway. Okay. Again, that is... Uh, uh, that is for... That is for a commercial vehicle. I'm not a commercial vehicle. Those okay. speed limits are set for commercial vehicles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Okay, so just real quick, when you actually learn the codes, uh, the traffic codes, it is actually for hire in the state of Texas. Now, I don't know about other states, but all the, the traffic codes are for commercial use. And uh, even though that you have just a regular driver's license, that put you under the category of commercial. Passenger, definition, is a person that pays someone to travel from point A to point B. That's the reason why my family is a guest or a family, but they are not passengers. So when you say passengers, it automatically puts you into commerce. Alright? I need to see your driver. Am I under arrest? Technically, this is an arrest. You're not. Okay. You are not being okay. placed under arrest. I'm going to jail. Okay. If I, if this, this is a custodial arrest. This is a custodial arrest, right? Okay. What, what's uh? What, what department are you with? Texas Department of Public Safety. Okay. What's, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Trooper Taylor. Trooper Taylor. Yes, sir. Trooper Taylor. Yes, sir. Okay. Am I under arrest? Is this a custodial arrest? Yes. Okay. Can... Okay. So in Texas, in most states, actually, when you are detained, you are actually under custodial arrest. You, so you are arrested when you're detained. Now, because they don't say it out loud, because most people like call watchers and auditors and all that out there, uh, they don't push the arrest issue, mainly because they can use it against them with the 3802. However, once you're arrested, then you have to identify yourself and all this kind of stuff. So when the auditors and call watchers all that say I'm under custodial arrest once they're detained, then by law you have to identify yourself. All right? And I believe it's um, 543 all the way up to 549 that explains that uh, being detained is a custodial arrest. So uh, look it up and double check what I'm saying. Once again, this is a learning deal. I'm not an attorney, uh, but uh, my research that I believe is uh, five, uh, 543 
all the way at 549 that explains that detention is a custodial arrest. So this gentleman is actually 100% correct that he is under custodial arrest and the officer totally agrees with him. Only because now the officer decides to go ahead and agree with him to be able to identify himself. So, um, we'll proceed forward. But yeah, the officer is correct. He'd been detained, but he's under custodial arrest. He realized the guy knows what he's talking about. Let's go on. You go ahead and read me my Miranda rights, please. From Miranda warnings. You said I'm under arrest. Okay, that's the law. Is that now, now I want you to give me my Miranda warnings. For what reason? Because you said I'm under arrest. That's right. Like I said. It's a traffic arrest. It's a traffic stop. Okay. okay. But the law doesn't differentiate whether it's traffic or, or murder. Okay. If I'm under arrest, then you are required to give me my Miranda rights. Go ahead and give me my Miranda rights. Okay. Alright. This gets you in court. You have the right to have a lawyer present to it before and during any questioning by police officers or attorney person in the state. If you are too poor to hire a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed by the court to invite you before and during any question. You have the right to terminate this interview at any time. Now, I need to see. Okay. So if you can, absolutely get them to read your Miranda rights. Because now they're under that obligation now of your rights. Okay? Uh, this last video, some of you guys may see and may not see, and we talked about the Fifth Amendment anyway. Oh, I did. Okay? And we talked about how the laws are contradictory against one another, and it's all violence against us, all right? So, uh, in general, uh, this was the whole reason why he accepted the custodial arrest instead of challenging the, de the being detained. And now at this point in time anything can and will be held against him in court of law. Your driver's license and your proof of insurance for the vehicle. Okay, so you said I have the right to remain silent, correct? Right. You don't okay. have to say anything. I just I, I need to see your it, driver's license and your right. insurance. Anything anything I say can and be used against me in court of law, right? Correct? If I give you my driver's license mm -hmm. and I give you proof of insurance, you can use that against me in a court of law. So why would I want to give that to you? I'm going because to have to go ahead and make No. <laughs> you just said it. I, anything I say can be used against me. Right. So if I give you something, it can be used against me. Okay. Why would I give you something that can be used because against you me? You told me that, no, you told me that was a right. Yeah, I have the right. So I'm going to exercise my right to remain silent. I want my attorney since I'm under arrest. Okay. And I am going to exercise the fact that I can't give you anything because you can use that against me. I'm not trying to use anything against you. Well, you could, but you could, is the thing. Exactly. This is the reason why this uh, driver's license and insurance and registration deal to show proof is contradictory against the Fifth Amendment. It's because they will hold this against you in court of law because they need that information to actually get the courts processed. Without all that, there is no beginning of the courts. Okay? So they are, as soon as they get that, they already started using it against you by opening the courts up to you. You want to read those Miranda rights again? Sir. To operate a vehicle on the roadway, you are required to have your driver's license, okay? Sir? And you're required to... If I'm, under, if, I'm, if I'm operating under a commercial vehicle, <coughs> okay, not if I am just traveling. I told you I am just traveling in my pr private conveyance. So, that law does not apply to me. So now you don't have probable cause anymore. You're am I free to go? Not, no, you're not free to go, okay? I suggest you call your supervisor right here because you obviously don't understand the law. You're just reading my Miranda rights. Okay. Okay? Listen, I need your driver's license and proof of insurance. As we do that, Frank, we can both get out of here. Sir? Alright. Again, he needs it.
to open up the courts. So it's going to be held against him. Which, if he gave them that, uh, he gave permission to go ahead and proceed for the courts. Basically, it's a verbal contract. Sir, I, 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 think, I think we're very clear on this. You read my Miranda rights. You want to read them again? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I am not going to answer any questions. I'm going to remain silent. That's fine. I, I cannot give you anything because if I give you something, then you can use that against me in a court of law. Okay. Do you understand that? Sir. Do you understand that? I understand what? That if I give you something, you can use that against me in a court of law. Why would I give you something? Because it's required by law. Okay. I, you broke the law. You were traveling out of speed. Okay. If I'm under arrest, I'll be glad to ID. Okay. Let me see some identification. I, I can only, I, I give you a verbal ID. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. If you say I'm under arrest, then I'll, I'll give you a verbal ID. I don't see how I could be under arrest when I haven't broken okay. the law. What's your verbal ID? Okay. First name is Edward. That's E.D. Okay. That is his number one goof up right there. He gave them a good start to run the plates, and if that plate says his name, then he can get the rest of the information and open the courts, which his name is going to open the courts. Okay? So, uh, there we go. You contradict yourself a little bit there since he's under the rest. We're going to make a part two on this. <laughs> if you shop at Walmart, you already know. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, y'all. So, out of these two videos, between Here's the Deal. And this we the we the people, I believe uh, here's the deal one. So that's just my opinion, y'all. <laughs> y'all decide. Thumbs up on uh, the heels the deal uh, video, and uh, thumbs down on this one. <laughs> it don't matter to me. I'm just playing around, y'all. All right. Till next time, y'all. Bye. We're gonna be doing a part two. Bye, y'all.